We are in Windows Server 2016. We're going to take a look at the Best Practices Analyzer. And what the analyzer does is it tells us if we have any kind of vulnerabilities or setup issues with any particular roles we have installed on our server. Now take a look at the roles and server groups. You see we have Active Directory Certificate Services installed, Active Directory Domain Services because it is a domain controller, DNS, and File and Storage Services. So we can click on any one of these services and we can choose to uh, run the best practices analyzer based on that information. So let's go ahead and click on Active Directory Certificate Services. And we'll go ahead and scroll down and it'll take us to the best practices analyzer here. Let's go to where it says Tasks and choose Start BPA Scan. And we'll go ahead and choose just our one server, but if you have more than one server, then you can go ahead and choose those as well. And now it's going to take a little bit of time to run the scan. And after a few seconds, it says it's done, although some uh, scans do take longer than others. So we only see a couple of warnings. One is that the uh, CA database and log files should not be stored on the system drive. So basically it's saying, hey, you need to move these to you know, a D or an E drive. The other is the computer uh, and auto enrollment group policy is not enabled. So we can enable that policy in order to get that policy to work. Let's go ahead and choose one of the other ones. Let's do Active Directory Domain Services, and we'll do the same thing. And we'll choose the tasks and start BPA scan, choose our server, and let it run. And it's all set, and we see two warnings and an error. Let's go ahead and click on the error, and it says the PDC emulator master in this forest should be configured to correctly sync time from a valid time source. So if we click on more information, and it takes us to a website, and it hopefully tells you a little bit about what that error is. Now, I don't have this particular computer available on the internet, so it's not going to take us there, but the link, as long as the computer is internet enabled, will take you to that information. Now, once you resolve the issue, you can run the best practices analyzer again, and you should see that error is now gone. And same things with the warnings. You can click on the link to take you to more, in, uh, more information on how to resolve it, and uh, then you can go ahead and run it again. And hopefully all, that issue, all those issues will be taken care of. So here's one that says that the organizational units, some of them are not protected against accidental deletion. So that's a pretty easy one to fix. So what we can do is go to Tools, Active Directory Users and Computers, and we can go to each one of these that's an organizational unit. So I see the uh, Domain Controllers is the only one that's an organizational unit go to Properties, and you don't see that option. So let's go up to View, go to Advanced Features, and now we'll go back into it. And then we'll go to Object and Protect Object from Accidental Deletion. Click Apply, click OK. And all the rest of these are folders, so I don't see any more organizational units, so that should be taken care of. Let's go ahead and run this again and see if that uh, warning goes away on the second time around. And look at that, the second time we run it, the warning for the OUs is now gone, so it worked. So that's how we use and resolve issues after running the Best Practices Analyzer in Windows Server 2016. And it also works in previous versions as well, and it will work in the 2019 version coming up.